Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Krause and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to get Black Ops 1 Plutonium. Now, before I continue, all I gotta say is that I do not condone any piracy of this game. Let alone, I am not telling you to go get this game off like a pirate bay or like any kind of torrent website. As I will not be responsible to anything that happens to you. I just wanted to get that out of the way. But yeah, if you're looking to get Black Ops 1 for, you know, I will be leaving a link down in the description below so you can just get that game. I know nobody wants to pay full price for this game, but yeah, it should be in the description. Now, there are going to be two things that you're going to need to download. That is going to be Plutonium itself. I'll be leaving everything that you need down in the description below. So yeah, so what you're going to want to do is download Plutonium. I'll uh, just click the little download link right here in the top right and it should take you to this page. Now all you want to do is click download plutonium.exe. Once you click that, it should download right here. As y'all can see, I already have it downloaded. And in order for you to have controller support on Black Ops 1, you're going to need to download DS5 or DS4 Windows. So once you're at this website, just click download and then the download button should be right here. Just click download again and it should download straight to your computer as you can see DS4 Windows. Now, of course, once you have your copy of Black Ops 1, all you got to do is run the plutonium launcher as the way I do right here. As you can see, it's booting up. Just let it do its thing. Now, some of you may not see this screen, but it's OK. Most likely, you're going to get the user login screen. So what you're going to want to do is make an account. And the way to make an account is go back to the plutonium website. Go right here where it says forums. And then at the top right, it should say login or register. You're going to want to click the register button and just make your account. And once you have finished making your account, you can finally log in right here and you should see the screen afterwards. Now, you're going to want to go ahead and look for Black Ops 1, as you can see right here. You're going to want to go to game settings, select directory, and you're just going to want to find your Black Ops 1 game. For me, it's in my games 3 drive and right here it says Black Ops 1. So what I'm going to want to do is just click Black Ops 1 and click select folder. Make sure you do the root of the folder of Black Ops 1, not inside the Black Ops 1 folder. So pretty much what I'm saying, when you're selecting the directory, you don't want to be inside of this whole folder where it shows all the files. You're going to want to be outside of it where it just says Call of Duty Black Ops or Black Ops 1. Now, after you have done that, it should now say play. Now, what you're going to want to do is just click play. Now, if it's your first time loading it up, it should be like in low resolution. But if it's not, you know, you can go ahead and change it in the settings. So, yeah, now you have access to Black Ops 1 and you can play zombies with custom camos and all these sort of mods. But for those people who want to use a controller on Black Ops 1, this is when DS4 Windows is going to come in handy. So, as y'all can see, the zip folder, you're going to want to go into it and you're going to want to drag the DS4 Windows onto your desktop uh, just so it won't be in the zip file. Now, once you open up the DS4 Windows, you're going to want to click on DS4Windows.exe and click Program Folder. And you're just going to want to check these boxes right here. And this should open up. Uh, currently, right now, I do not have a controller. But pretty much what you would do is just connect your controller to your PC. It should light up right here, a little light showing your controller. And you're going to want to do is go back into Black Ops, go into Settings, go to Controls. And then right here, Gamepad, it should be highlighted for you since you have your controller connected. And just click Enable. And after you have done that, you have successfully have set up your Black Ops 1. And yes, Black Ops 1 multiplayer works as well. So you could go ahead and play that with like Plutonium players as well. I know a couple of you in my comment section were probably wondering how do I get modded camels or how do you get this specific porn up camel that I have for my pistol. If y'all want a tutorial like that, just leave a like on this video and drop a comment down below saying that you want this camo and I'll be making a separate tutorial on how to install it. So anyways, if y'all found this video helpful, please drop a like and subscribe if y'all are new and have a great day everyone.